what mom is making for dinner tonight. I really hope she doesn't make that spaghetti and meatballs again. Every single time she makes that, it's always super soggy. I mean, come on, it's not hard to cook spaghetti without making it mushy. Look, I have teeth. I'm not grandma, okay? I can actually chew my pasta. Plain and simple. Um, oh no. What is that? My spidey senses are tingling. Something's wrong. What, what is, what is going on here? This better not be another print issue. I continuously have print issues. Are you serious? This is another clog. Another partial nozzle clog. Every single time I start printing, I have this issue and I can't figure out what's wrong with it. Come on! I am very sorry that I made you sit through that, but guys, I just had a partial nozzle clog, the worst one that I've ever had in my entire life, and I thought I need to share this with you guys because some of you probably don't know what it looks like, don't know how to fix it, and don't know when to detect it or anything else. So guys, we're jumping right into the video. Let's get it started. So what you're looking at on the right is a perfect example of this particular print, and on the left is going to be an example of this print in which a partial nozzle clog occurred. Now you can think of a partial nozzle clog as if you are using the garden hose in order to spray the car down when you're washing it or in order to water the plants. When you put your thumb over the garden hose to increase the pressure coming out, that is the same thing that's happening when you have a partial nozzle clog, at least in this particular case. So what's happening, the nozzle does not have a perfectly drilled hole straight through it. There's something blocking it, not allowing all of the filament to pass directly through it. And in this particular case, the pressure of the filament coming through the nozzle, it does not lay down flat on the print bed as it should. It's coming out with excessive force and it's spewing in any unknown direction. That's exactly what's happening with the garden hose. You have no idea where the water is going to be going. One of the most common ways to detect a partial nozzle clog is if you are experiencing extreme under extrusion when you normally are not having that issue. Now there are a bunch of videos on YouTube about what under extrusion is, but in simple terms, under extrusion is when you're expecting a part to have more filament on it than it does. So if you're expecting a solid part and your part is not solid, you're experiencing under extrusion. You're extruding less material than you were expecting to extrude. In the particular case that you're witnessing here, I have a problem more similar to the water hose issue. So the water hose issue is when you put your thumb over the water hose, you have no idea where the water is gonna be going. So that means my partial nozzle clog must not be that bad. It's not preventing material from coming out of the nozzle. All it is doing is spewing filament out of the nozzle in an unknown location. That is why my surface quality is so bad. The most common way that people get a partial nozzle clog is by having their print head too close to the print bed. Now, when you're on your first layer, this can cause a partial nozzle clog by dragging the print bed and picking up some sediment or some kind of a dust that is on your print bed, which clogs the nozzle. Another way that you can get a partial nozzle clog is throughout the print, not on the first layer, but maybe on layer 20 or 30 or 40. If your nozzle is too close to the actual print, then you might possibly get some kind of a burned filament that gets stuck to the outside of the nozzle, which prevents more filament from being extruded. Now, another way that you can get a partial nozzle clog that is a lot less common is to have dust that has settled on your filament or have a factory defect in your filament where something is stuck inside the filament. So as the extruder pulls the filament through the Bowden tube, through the hot end and to the nozzle, whatever is on or in that filament gets stuck in the nozzle. So what you see here is a tool that comes with essentially every single 3D printer, no matter if you order from Creality or Prusa or Soval, doesn't matter, you're going to get at least one of these in your box and this tool is likely going to be stabbed into a piece of foam because it's incredibly sharp and you're about to see 
how sharp it is. It will stab you and it will stick in your finger very, very easily. Now, if you order a 3D printing toolkit on Amazon or eBay or from your local dealer, you might find a tube like you see here. And this tube is likely to have five or 10 of these needles in it. And it's going to have a lid so you can easily store them safely. So hopefully you did not throw this tool out, but if you did, I highly recommend you stop what you're doing and you go order one of these because you do not want to have to wait two days for Amazon to deliver one of these tools to you if you have a partial nozzle clog. So as you see here, this tool is designed to fit inside of a 3D printing nozzle and the goal is to push the needle in and out, spin the needle all around in order to break the clog loose and hopefully whenever you turn your printer on next and you go and extrude filament, the clog will easily pass through the hole and it won't be clogged anymore. So what I'm showing you is just a little bit misleading. In order to get good footage of this, I have a nozzle that is not actually connected to the printer. But what you are supposed to do is break the clog loose while the nozzle is still on the printer and while it is still installed. This way you do not have to remove any parts. Hopefully removing a partially clogged nozzle only takes five minutes. The goal Heat the nozzle to whatever printing temperature you use and then stick this needle in the front end of the nozzle, not the threaded end. You stick it in the front end of the nozzle as you're seeing now. And as you see here, you just go to town on the clog, push it in, pull it out, spin it left, spin it right. Guys, the goal is to get the clog out, but just be careful. Do not push the needle so far in that you get into your Bowden tube. You don't want to damage that. So the first step in fixing a partial nozzle clog is to preheat the nozzle to your operating temperature. Now, every printer is obviously gonna be different, but that's how you do it on the Creality Ender 3 V2. Then once you get that done and your nozzle is preheated to the appropriate temperature, you are going to take your tool and you're going to find the hole in the nozzle and then you are going to spin it around until it goes in. And once it goes in, you can push it up and down and don't be afraid to pull it out. And you can look at the tip of the needle. And of course it's not gonna focus, but if there's filament on the needle, it's fine. Just go ahead and just scrape it off and you can continue to do this. Now you cannot do it too much. Just don't push in too far and damage the Bowden tube. Otherwise, do this about three or four times and then try and create a print and see if you've cleared the clog. <sighs> and that is all. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please put some comments down below letting me know I love success stories. And if it was not helpful, please tell me in the comments down below what's wrong. Tell me, tell me what's wrong, let me know. Maybe I can make a video and I can help you with that as well. But guys, I don't have anything else for you. Like I said, please put the comments below. Maybe give me some likes if you like the video. Give me some subscriptions. I have so much content coming. I have a Voron build. I've got a whole bunch of Kickstarter stuff coming in the mail soon. I've got two 3D scanners. I've got a bunch of projects with all of that. So guys, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when that content comes out. Anyway, I'm out. See ya.